हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर भारती विद्यापीठ यूट्यूब चैनल बी वी सी ओई डब्ल्यू इम्पार्टिंग नॉलेज सो आई एम मैथिली चतुर्भुज आई एम फ्रॉम भारती विद्यापीठ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनियरिंग फॉर वुमेन कात्रज पुने सो माय प्रोजेक्ट्स टाइटल इज वर्चुअल माउस यूजिंग पाइथन सो बिफोर टॉकिंग अबाउट माय प्रोजेक्ट लेट्स लेट्स टॉक इन जनरल व्हाट इज इंक्लूडेड इन अ प्रोजेक्ट सो सो लाइक आई स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू बिल्ड एनी प्रोजेक्ट इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज यू आर यूजिंग फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट यू योर प्रोजेक्ट हैज टू हैव दिस टू थिंग्स विच इज फ्रंट एंड एंड बैक एंड सो वट यू मीन बाय फ्रंट एंड Front end is a style of computer programming that focuses on the coding and creation of elements and features of a website that will be seen by the user. So you are an end user. So whatever the things are visible is the front end part, and whatever goes behind building that is the back end part. Like back end refers to parts of computer application or a program's code that allows it to operate and that cannot be accessed by your user. So So the languages in front end are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and back end includes Python, Java, C, C plus plus. These are the programming languages included in the back end part. So like there are multiple platforms where you can where you can code and develop your project. So I have mentioned three examples wherein you can code in using these languages. For my project, we are going to use Python. but let's talk about what is jupiter collab and also pycharm so jupiter is formally known as i python notebook it is an interactive web application for creating and sharing computational documents it is a fully open source product open source product is like you don't have to pay any like no subscription or nothing like that to use that platform yeah and users can use every functionality available for free that's what i told you before it supports more than 40 languages including python r and scala so google collab the next is google collab google collab is a product from google research collab allows anybody to write and execute arbitrary python code through the browser and is especially well suited to machine learning data analysis and education the next is pycharm which we are using to build our project which i am using it is an integrated development environment formally known as ide used for programming in python it provides code analysis a graphical debugger and integrated unit tester integration with version control systems and supports web development with django next yeah after doing your project the next immediate question arises is like ki where to upload the project so this is a website known as github you all may be aware of this website but still i'll give you a short introduction of what github is so github is a web based version control and collaboration platform for software developers microsoft is the biggest single contributor to github git is used to store the source code for a project and track the complete history of all changes to that code it lets developers collaborate on a project more effectively by providing tools for managing possibly conflicting changes for multiple developers so let's talk about my project the problem statement is to build a virtual mouse using python so gesture controlled visual mouse makes human computer interaction simple by making use of hand gesture the computer requires almost no direct contact this project makes use of state of art machine learning and computer vision algorithms to recognize hand gesture that works smoothly without any additional hardware requirements so these are the models which i have mentioned here we are going to use it cv2 media py and pyto gui these are the three models on which i have developed this project so the next part like i'll elaborate my problem statement so the very important step the basic step is to install the three packages which i have mentioned before that is open cv media pipe and pytogy so the step one is to open the video camera like what are the steps there there are only six steps included in my project the first step is wherein the video camera opens the second step is wherein your hand is detected next is separate the index finger so that we can use that as a mouse po po pointer the fourth step is move the mo mouse pointer using the index finger next is 
the click operation n6 is the final result so about the libraries so i told you to install three libraries but what are the functions of this three libraries let's understand so open cv it is a python library that allows you to perform image processing and computer vision tasks it also provides a wide range of features including object detection face recognition and tracking this is the this is what is included in our project so i've taken open cv next is media pipe media pipe provides a suite of library and tools for you to quickly apply artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques in your applications you can plug this solutions into your applications immediately customize them to your needs and use them across multiple development platforms next is pyoto gui pyoto gui is a cross platform gui automation python model for human beings used to programmatically control the mouse and keyboard yeah so here you might have uh, read the landmark 8 so what is this landmark 8 i'll tell you through the image so you can see the 8 is the index finger tip so through that you you can click like uh, pressing your thumb and index finger you can click on the screen so these are the different landmarks which you can see on the screen and then now let's switch to our project like i'll show you the coding part so so this is the coding part uh the first uh, as i told you you have to import three libraries so i've imported import cv2 import media pipe as mp as mp is written because every time you cannot write na media pipe media pipe so it's a short form is a derivative import pyoto gui so like uh, if you remember our first step was to open the camera so there is only six lines of code you, which you have to write in order to open your camera so i'll tell you i'll just highlight those six lines so that you can understand the first is this line import cv2 next is cap cv2 video capture i'll tell you what it is next is while true like we are using this while loop then after that we are mentioning this part read then uh, the cv2 i am sh image show wala part and yeah and then cv2 wait key which is here this part cv2 i i am is like for image and wait us to stop like until you don't tell like until you don't press here so now let's talk up let's talk about the code so cap like cap cap is written for capture cv2 is you are using that library and then video capture until zero like once you start playing your video will uh, will start automatically capturing capturing will start next we have using hand detector mp dot solutions hands dot hands drawing utils is just a variable name declared then you are mentioning the screen width and screen height using the py auto gui as i told you the function of py auto gui so here like it it just shows the frame size then yeah this is a very important part frame is equals to cv2 dot flip i have written dot flip cuz it's a mirror image right if you raise your right hand on the screen you will like the end user will see ki baba apne left hand raise kiya but no to avoid that we are using dot flip function so then we are mentioning the frame height the frame width and then the frame shape so rgb like we don't want it in black color right so we are we are using this color wala part so and you can notice the color spelling is different while coding so that's the point to be noted next is what you want the output the hand detector and the rgb frame in which you are showing your hand okay so for hands uh like i have written you can see the id uh id is like i'll show you here one one second yeah here you can see 0 0 is 
zero is here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want the step. So if we have given that ID is equals to eight, you can see the ID is given here eight. Hmm. And then circle. Circle is like you will get a yellow circle on your thumb, like on your index finger. Sorry. And and index x like the x axis and index y is the y axis like your finger should move within the frame that's the reason why it's it's mentioned like i'll i'll show you and then you'll understand ki what am i talking about the color the circle what i'm saying i'll first show you i'll run it and then i'll show you and then and almost the code is over like only we have 39 lines of code yeah, and your project is ready. Just a minute. Yeah, it started. So I haven't raised my hand yet. Hmm. So you can see there is nothing detected. Now, if I raise my hand, you will see the points. Okay. So I've raised my hand. Look, you can see the points. If you can look at closely, you can see the yellow circles on my index finger and the thumb finger. On the thumb finger, the ID is 4, which I've given. I'll scroll a bit. Yeah. Here you can see. Yeah, wait. Let me let me just resize it. Yeah. Here, here you can see on my index finger it's the circle and on the thumb finger it's circle. Thumb finger for thumb finger I've given ID is equals to equals to four. Then I've uh, said key I want a circle if you want square you can give square if you want rectangle you can give rectangle I've used square then for thumb the x-axis the y x the x-axis the y-axis the screen the height and and this is the small code for pi auto gui is like to move your index I'll show you like if it's less than 20 less than 100 I'll show you like for example this is the my fingertip if I'm moving towards the right side, you can see the outside is, is uh, going away from 100. Like it's going up to, you can say to the like greater than 100. And if I'm moving it to the left side, you can see, like if you can see there 4.5 and 94, 11, it's, it's less than 20. Okay. So this was about the code. I'll, I'll explain you more. Like I'll, I'll show you. If you want to click. Now you can see the cursor here. Look, the it is on notification part. If I want to move, it's on thumb part. I'm not clicking. Look, my both hands are here. This is the thumb, the index finger which I'm moving. Ah, uh, it is, I clicked on the frame wala part. If I want to stop, I think so. The stop function. Okay, I'll try once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go, go, go. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay, but you can see the it's virtually moving. Yeah, I've clicked here. Anyways, so you can just click here and stop it. But this is it. This was about the coding well part. I'll, I'll in short tell you key the the six steps. I'll just revise it once again so that it will be much easier for you to understand what I've implemented in my code. So like in the first step, we have opened the video camera. Next, we have detected the hand. Then we have separated the index finger that the landmark eight as if as I told you, key ID is equals to eight, ID is equals to four, and that was the part. You have to move the mouse pointer using the index finger and the click operation, and that was the final result, which you can see on the video wala part. So this is the code wala part. Yeah. This is it. And 